Ladies and gentlemen, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the Earth began experiencing a slight geomagnetic storm as the KP index hit 5. As you can see here on NOAA, and we'll go over, bring you down to look at what a minor G1 storm does to the Earth. Weak power grid fluctuations can occur, can have an impact on satellites and other animals. And you know, we just had that big blackout last night. Uh, because of the time difference between that and this, not sure if they're related, but you can see here uh, the yellow is the solar wind speed and the orange is the density and you can see that they both spiked uh, a little earlier this morning. The density was at 37 protons per cubic centimeter and we've honestly never seen it that high. Uh, so this right here is uh, the newest uh, Signet streamer. You can see they have the coronal mass ejection coming off to the left there. Um, as you can see, they also do not have uh, the coronal mass ejections that were earthbound. Uh, as we mentioned yesterday, that's one of the problems with this, uh, with this one. Here looking back, you can see uh, this was what the Signet streamer looked like before it updated to show only the newest coronal mass ejection. But luckily we've saved it so we can go back and see uh, what it does here. Now this again is the old, uh, the old signet showing the earthbound CME. Now look in the middle, you see that yellow bubble that hits right there? It's all yellow. That was the solar wind stream. And as you can see there, the yellow means about 550 miles per second. Now here's the new one showing the new CME, but not the old one. Now look in the middle at the bubble that hits the earth. It's not just yellow, it's got a bit of orange in it now as well. This indicates higher solar winds and uh, could bring about another geomagnetic storm in the next couple of days. Keep looking out for flares and be safe.